it was about 15 years ago that I first got involved with BHMA. Uh, my leader at the time, Ed Palatowicz, he had been a longtime member of BHMA, and he was moving on to another assignment um, within our business. And he highly recommended me getting uh, closely involved with BHMA as he had very high recommendations for the things that, that BHMA is, is working on. My path to leadership really began when I got involved um, with BHMA. I really focused on the co-development process and getting involved with subcommittees. A few years later, I was asked to join the strategic planning um, committee, and I thought that was a really great opportunity to give additional input into the BHMA process and, and, and structure. Yeah, the, the moment that really stands out for me, as I was involved with some of the subcommittees um, developing um, some of the standards, I noticed there was sometimes a conflict between the products that were focused on commercial applications versus residential applications. As we started talking about that, we um, came to the conclusion that maybe it, it made sense to have a separate residential standard uh, category of standards. We eventually implemented several standards focused on residential products, as well as now have a website um, called securehome.org that is focused on residential products. There's a few uh, initiatives that really stand out to me. And first of all, is the BHMA training modules. These modules do a really great job of explaining what BHMA is all about, the value the organization brings, and the focus of safety and security to the industry. Another important initiative is, is the stage development um, process. It's at an all-time high right now. The really good quality of execution of the standards is, is, is in place. And in particular, we've added a lot of new standards in the last couple of years that really are important to the builder product industry.